All right, Ethan, this is Erica Bactor Hunter here. Here's my homemade box trap I made, my grandpa made. Uh, it's pretty much just like a live trap, but made out of wood, so they call them a box trap. I'm gonna show you how I made mine and uh, how it works. So this is what it looks like when it's set. So I'm gonna take it down real quick. Just take these off so that I can show you everything about it, and then I'll set it back up and show you how it works. So here we go. So first, what we did is we just got a piece of plywood, just ended it right here the door slot ends, take it all the way to the back. All right, we got, oh, I'll go over right here first. We got a piece of screen, or we got to cut a hole in the plywood, put a piece of screen there, then we nailed it down with these pieces of wood here. We have two pieces of this kind of wood on both sides. It's just pine wood, it's on both sides. And the guys, this one is for raccoons and possums. You can make them for like, make them smaller for, um, for uh, squirrels and uh, rabbits. But yeah, so there's a bottom on it too, and then you have a back, and then we put this little piece here to kind of support it, so when the door closes, it can't come open as well. And and then here's the door. That's what it looks like down inside. Um, it's really cool. So what we did is we got these notches in each side of the wood, so that when the door falls, it slides down, and the animal can't push out. Like I said, this helps it too, and this side does too. Uh, we got a forked stick. You just stick it in the middle wherever you need to put it on your trap. Um, I'm not going to tell you how big the pieces of wood are or anything because, I mean, it just depends on what size you want to make. Then you just get a regular normal old stick that'll fit yours. And then on the end, you get a, a stick, pretty much your trigger. You put a hook in the top of it tight to the end of your main stick. And then you, then as y'all guys can see, I painted mine. I mixed green and a... Uh, brown paint together and made this kind of color and then you cut a little notch in it and that's your trigger so that when the animal comes down through there well let me see here if I can do this. good grief okay when the animal comes down through there when this is all the way down set and everything he hits that stick he knocks it loose it comes up through that hole the door falls down and you have him trapped and you put your food in the very back and um and I don't, I, I forgot to say, but yeah, there is a hole there for this slide down through. Um, and you put your food in the very back, and the screen, like I said, guys, or the screen is mainly just for to see what you have in your trap. Alright, so here we go, I'll show you how it works. So you just get a piece of string, you tie it to the hook, and you put a tie out at the end, and then you just stick it on your piece of wood. Let me set this down right here. I'll show you what it looks like. You just get your wood, you stick it down in your slot, and you just stick it to the end of your your main stick. Then you just get your uh, your stick with the notch in it, stick it in its hole, get it set, and put your board at the end of the wood, just like this. So I got that notch right there, and then I have my board set. Good. All right. So just again, guys, animal goes through there. Let me focus back there. All right. So I have some food back there. I was showing this on my dogs and my cats, and it worked for them. All right. So the animal goes down through there. He hits that pole, or that stick that I showed y'all, the door falls. So let me get this trigger over here, this stick right here, that I made to, to hit the trigger with. So here it worked, or here how it works. Goes in, hits that trigger, door falls, just like that. So yeah, and a lot of times, mine it couldn't fall as fast because the stick was in the way but a lot of times when you come out to find it this stick will be flown over to the side because it just throws it up so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this is a homemade box trap really easy to make really cool to really cool to catch animals into so yeah i'll see you later bye